What's going on YouTube? My name is Mason and today we're going to be talking about code P1450, code I've seen on a lot of these Ford vehicles. Edges, Explorers, Tauruses, just about the whole line of Fords. Today we're going to be working on an Edge. So this code P1450 has to do with the evaporative emission system. It is, basically its definition is unable to bleed up fuel tank vacuum. 99% of the time on these Fords and some General Motors, we're not going to get into any Chevrolets or any of that, but 99% of the time on these Fords, the problem is a leaking purge valve and it's super easy to check and see if that's what your problem is. Most likely it is and it's also super easy to replace. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that today, how to check it, how to fix it and make sure that it's fixed right afterwards. So let's get right into that. Also tools, uh, all you're going to need is an eight millimeter and a ratchet and two good hands. That's gonna be pretty much everything you're gonna to need to do this job. As far as parts go, I'm gonna link some down in the description for the popular year models and part numbers that go out for these cars. So just check that out, see if I have your car listed up down there. If so, you can go online and hopefully find those parts without having to drive all the way to the parts house and deal with all that. So if you would, just go check that out. So we're over here at the car and before I started it up and it kind of gets hard to hear me, I just wanted to show you where this purge valve is. This is the purge valve right here. Two eight millimeters, one connector and one line. It's gonna be like that on just about any of these Fords, mostly Chevrolets too. Sometimes they'll have two lines because they're not bolted right into the intake. They'll have one line going in and then one line coming out that goes into the intake. So I just wanted to show you that location. As you can see, it's right behind the breather pipe. So I went ahead and started the car and I unplugged this line. There's a little tab on the bottom side of this line that you push in. Then I've also disconnected this connector. Push the tab in, unplug. The reason I do all that is because we have this unplugged and this off. When it's unplugged, it should be closed. It shouldn't be pulling any vacuum through this hose. So we disconnect this hose and shove our finger up here to it. And I know you can't feel that like I can, but it's actually pulling a vacuum on my finger. So what that tells me is that it's a leaking purge valve. That purge valve right there is the problem every time. Since we've got that line off and we've got the connector unplugged, replacing it is halfway done. All we have to do is disconnect this bolt, disconnect this bolt, and while it comes right out, we put the new one in, plug it back up and you are good to go. Clear your codes and that's it. Well, thanks for watching this video. I really hope it helped you. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, go ahead and hit that like button for me. It really helps me out. And if you want to subscribe, try to put new content out a couple times a week. There it is, P1450 fixed on edge.